the Robinhood trading app, zero fees and commission? Sounds like a great thing, right? Uh... Now, right off the get-go, I wanna just kind of classify two camps of people. And you know, one camp of people, you can probably just shut off the video, it's not going to pertain to you. The other camp, please consider what I'm about to you know, talk about in regards to Robinhood. So Robinhood in and of itself, you know, they're not you know, malicious, they're not trying to you know, do anything you know, harmful on purpose. However, it, there is a major red flag that comes about with Robinhood and with the, the no fees and all that. But again, going back to the two camps, one camp of people out there, maybe you're saying, Clay, look, I have a small account. I just wanna have some fun. I'm bored out of my mind and I wanna save a plane ticket from having to fly to Las Vegas. So I just wanna sit in my basement in my underwear and use Robinhood and just gamble the markets. Just, just have some fun, I, I, I'm bored. For you, okay, you're self-aware, that's what you wanna do, fair enough. You can probably turn up, not probably, you can stop the video. I don't wanna waste your time. The other camp of people, hey Clay, I have a small account, but I really do wanna become a trader. I really do wanna become consistent. I wanna become good at this, and I wanna to try to make something bigger out of it. I'm definitely not here to gamble. I'm here to learn, get better, and just develop into a trader. For those people, this is the video for you, and this is why Robinhood is actually quite the red flag and offers you know, one of their attributes, zero commissions, is a red flag at the same time. And this all came about based off a suggestion that somebody had on one of my other uh, YouTube videos. So let me first read that and then I'll kind of break things down. So the comment says, I think it is great advice, but to deter him from trading altogether was silly. I would have turned him onto Robinhood. I think to put 50 bucks into an account is some great lessons. While that's going on, he could save and learn. Now, right from the get-go, I'm not trying to you know, beat this person or call them stupid because the logic makes perfect, perfect sense. But that is why the market is so tricky in and of itself because there's a lot of instances where what makes sense is actually very, very harmful. And this is one of those things. So this person, hey, you know, don't tell the person with a very small account who's new not to trade. I mean, you can at least tell them to just get a Robinhood account. Why Robinhood? Well, it goes back to those zero fees and because this person that they're referring to just doesn't have much money. So hey, you know this person's saying, just have them throw 50 bucks in. So we'll just call that a small amount, right? I'm not assigning a numerical value to that because you know that can vary depending on you know what, that's not how you spell account. I can already see in the comment sections right now, you moron, you don't know how to spell. So account, there we go. So you have a small account, and this person's rationale is, hey, get some great lessons. And how are you gonna get great lessons? Well, again, you fund the account, and then you're going to save and then learn while this little part of the curve is all taking place. So save and learn while all that is occurring. And again, you're, you're probably saying, and if you are saying this, hey, well, congratulations, you're, you're a very logical thinker. I don't understand the problem. You said they're new, you said there's no fee, so, so they can do a small amount because commissions aren't gonna eat away at everything. And it's just really small, it gets their feet wet, it lets them start to, to learn. But what's gonna happen is they're just gonna develop all sorts of bad habits. Right off the get-go, when you don't know what you don't know, that also includes what should you actually be learning? Well, well Clay, to, to how to make money. That's about as broad of a statement as it gets. And we'll focus on that though, how to make money. So how are you gonna make money with a small account? What sort of uh, you know, procedures are gonna be put into place? What sort of things is this person gonna happen? Because I guarantee you one thing, making 50 cents, making a buck 50, making five bucks, that's, that's gonna get boring in a hurry. And if you think, no, Clay, I would gladly sit there and make 50, you know, 50 cents, 75 cents. Well, then you are a rare, rare, rare exception if you can say that in your heart of hearts. Uh, yeah, sure, maybe a few trades, but after a while you're like, all right, yeah, that's great. Let me start to ramp things up. And ramp things up is where things start to, you know, you're learning, so I'm not gonna deny that you won't learn by a small account. But it's certainly not gonna be great lessons because the lessons that you're gonna start to learn one of them is just gonna be holding and hoping. 
I mean, when you have a small account, one of the areas where you're probably gonna head to and which a lot of Robinhood people go to is the penny stock market. And penny stocks, sure they can be volatile, but in many cases, you gotta just sit there and wait and wait and wait and you, you gotta hope. You gotta hold and hope. And holding and hoping is, is just, it's just not a strategy, especially on penny stocks. Could it work out? Yeah, absolutely. Any of these strategies that I'm gonna, or any of these kind of lessons could indeed work out, but that's where you know you, you surround yourself with a, a key concept, which I'll get to in a second. Another thing, hey, I wanna play fast movers. Well, why would you wanna play a fast mover? Well, of course, because your account is small and fast movers can, you know, they're, they're moving fast so they can potentially give you more gains on a trade. Well, that's gonna start to teach you chasing. Now, of course, you're not looking at this as holding and hoping and chasing. You're looking at this as, hey, I'm trading, I'm learning, I'm you know, using just a small amount so I can just get my feet wet. Chasing, not a good habit at all. But again, if you wanna ramp things up and start to make more than just minimal amounts, you're gonna have to play active stocks. But when you're brand new, you don't know how to properly play an active stock and that's gonna to lead to chasing. Another big thing, position sizing. Odds are you're probably I won't say going 100% of your account into a trade, but a significant portion. And from a risk management perspective in and of itself, that's not anything else that you should be doing or building the habit of doing. That is not a lesson that you want to be developing, but subconsciously you are. You're allowing all these routines and these habits to start to develop, and sure on the surface, the voice in your head, you're telling yourself, I'm just doing all this to learn. I'm saving right now so I can maybe you know buy some courses from somebody or I'm just saving until I can get a bigger account but right now I'm just learning I'm taking it easy and you know while the intentions are, are noble while the intentions are again very logical they don't make sense in the grand scheme of things because all these other things that you're gonna be forced to do in order to make you know a decent amount of money when you actually try to go with bigger account sizes you know you're just gonna get you know, hit in the face, your lunch is gonna get eaten in the snap of a finger. And like I was saying earlier, sure, to be fair, all these things could indeed work, but in the world of trading, and if you listen to my podcast show that I have, you know that this has a great chance of developing fool's gold. Meaning, you're confusing luck, randomness, chaos with skill. And that's the big differentiator those lines get blurred. And when those lines are blurred, it, it's, I'm not saying the habits can't be broken, that, that would be a bold-faced lie, but it's just such a headache, it's such a, a costly thing to try to undo bad habits that have been formed when luck and skill start to you know, bleed together, which it will without question. There's no doubt about it in my mind. And if you think I'm making this up, like I said, I have now over 130 episodes of the podcast. So literally over 130 hours of me talking with other traders who opened up, share about their story. And you can see this right here is a very common theme that comes up time and time again. And if you're somebody that wants to go about things the right way, then you gotta first learn what you should be learning. And that comes from systematic education, an educational system which, with structure to it. Do I sell education? Yes. Would I love for you to buy my training courses? Yeah, absolutely. But if you go and decide, you know what? I'm not gonna open up that small account. I'm just gonna save and then put that into some sort of structured learning and it's not gonna be with you, Clay? Hey, that, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy that you're not gonna fall into this trap and build all these bad habits because that's what you're at a risk of and that's the major red flag that comes with Robin Hood is it makes that door just way too easy to open up a bad habit because attentions are good, it's all logical, but it's just not gonna work out. And like I said, I realize that I'm just some guy on YouTube, I'm just sharing my opinion, uh, but I'll put a link to the podcast down below. And yeah, go and just start listening to some of these episodes and you'll notice time and time again, uh, we talk about this, you hear people that go down this path, hey, I just wanted to start small, and then before I know it, I thought I had everything figured out, so I, I do bigger share size or I do bigger amounts of money, and then I get absolutely, you know, drop kicked in the face and it's happened multiple times so there's plenty of data there and you know if you've been trading or have any sort of experience with trading you know what i mean about this stuff you've been there before and you know that you don't want to be developing those habits you know right from the get-go because while they can be broken it's a very time uh, intensive and cost effective or cost 
uh, a labor of love. I'll just put it like that. And labor comes with both time and money when it comes to breaking these habits. So just don't start them from the get-go. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link. So if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything. And that way you'll know precisely what you are getting uh, you know, when you join. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.